This is Redbeard, and in this adventure, I install the Rivco Aero Flipout Highway Pegs. Here since I bought this bike in uh, late 17, here it is, uh, mid 2021. I've had these highway pegs. I, th I think they're like a Kiriakin. Uh They stick out real far. Um, fairly comfortable. Uh, they can get in the way sometimes and uh, they've definitely been scratched up over the years um so i'm going to replace them with the rivco so first step remove the old highway pegs so highway peg is off if you uh want to know why this is uh ground down so much you're gonna have to watch a separate video for that one uh, if it's uh, released check the comments uh, or the description below and i'll have a link to it but now that the old highway pegs are off, it's time to start putting the new ones on. So here are the parts with the instructions. It's uh, pretty straightforward. I, I watched the video from Memphis Mike uh, where he had these installed at a uh, wing ding a couple years back. Um, I had been wanting these ever since then and was finally able to buy these a few months ago and now I'm able to get to replacing them. Here they all kind of laid out. I left the left one there just so I don't get it mixed up. Uh, these are labeled right there. Probably won't get it mixed up because your foot goes here, so I'm sure I'm sure it's clear. But you know, hey, why not make it easy on me? One thing I did do different than Memphis Mike. He got the chrome ones. Uh, I'm doing black. I think black looks good on Woodstock. Um, the yellow and black uh, look pretty good to me. So we'll get these on and uh, see what everybody thinks. So the next step is to remove uh, this piece here. So you have to take this whole piece off uh, and then this is a double-sided adhesive on there. Uh, so if you're gonna do this, you, know, you might wanna time it with uh, spark plugs since you're gonna take this thing off anyway. The spark plugs are just right there at this point. I just did the spark plug so there's no need. Uh, so now it's time to remove this. It's held on with double-sided adhesive tape uh, recommendation and instructions use a hair dryer it's about 90 degrees today so I might be good without that uh, so that part came apart with my hands like I said it's warm out here and this is fairly old double-sided adhesive tape um, I don't know if this needs to be cleaned off or taken off of there I'm gonna try leaving it although I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and see what happens so now I got it uh, cleaned up a little bit um, I put these back in, but I didn't I didn't snug them up very tight. So if I need to move anything around uh, To get that piece on there line it up It's there. So let's get the piece on Okay, right, so here it is uh, all the bolts on with the little rubber stoppers on there And so the next thing is to put this and there's there's four positions it can be in um, And sometimes my long legs I want to make sure it's all the way forward so let's put it there. All right, so here it is on there closed. I just have it snugged on there because I want to make sure this is a good spot for my for my legs. But you'll just come in with your boot, kick the thing open, rest your foot, grab the heel, push it back in. It's out of the way. And if you're worried about this potentially damaging here, if uh, if something were to if it were to fall with it open, there's actually a little notch right there so these are designed to break away and be able to be replaceable there's a little uh, bolt down here take that off put a new piece on if something were to happen now i gotta check to see how it fits my legs and uh, i'll probably put a little loctite on here just to make sure everything stays on there um, i will say if anybody from rivco watches this Please, when you when you make a part for a metric bike and you use metric tools on, don't use standard. I had to go get another set to to do this. It was the same with the Kiriakin. Uh The other foot pegs that I had here, they're standard size, but everything else is metric. So if you could think about maybe that. But um, anyway, if you are going to put these on, just go ahead and grab both your sets so you you can you can do what you need to do with your metric and do what you need to do with your standard and away you go 
But let me check to see how these are for my legs and then I can get to the other side. Here's that, uh, that bolt I was talking about. It's actually a nut. So you just remove that ideally. Take the broken piece off and you can put the new piece on. Uh, but it does look like it's thick enough. It does look like it's thick enough that uh, any normal weight on there is um, <laughs> any normal weight is not going to break it. It's got to be some significant weight like a bike falling. No, I just think that looks a whole lot cleaner. The lines are nicer on the bike. I feel like my foot will probably stick out about as much as it did. If you compare the two pedals, uh, roughly the same kind of spot. Um, so very similar location, very similar height. Um, this has more rubber on it, I guess you'd say, but um, I just don't see that being an issue with the boots that I use. Feels very well made. Nice clean line. Alright, so if anybody needs some uh, beat up Karyakin uh, highway pegs or interested in some uh, um, slightly used and <laughs> Need some TLC? No, I think they're okay. They can stand be cleaned. Um, a little Honda, whatever these things are to go on the valve covers. Uh, send me a message. Also, if anybody uh, wants to, my Gremlin Bell has taken some abuse. I, uh, I'm going to just leave it off because it seems to be all used up. But, um, you see how dented that thing is? So, uh, yeah. Check out my address and uh, about on YouTube if you're interested. And uh, yeah, until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.